Larry Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2046, Consolidate Worksheets. I'll be podcasting all of my tips from this book. Click the I in the top right-hand corner to get to the playlist. All right, I have an awesome, awesome, old, ancient trick. I have three data sets here, Q1, Q2, Q3. They all have a similar shape in that they have names down the left-hand side, months going across the top, but not exactly the same shape. Q1 has Jan, Feb, Mar, Q2 has five months. I guess we got lazy and didn't figure out to do this at the end of June and someone finally did it at the end of August and then Q4 has four months. All right, so the first one goes A to D, second one A through F, third one A through E, different names. Some of the names are the same, like Michael Seeley is there in all of them, but other names come and go. All right, this is an amazing feature. It's been around for Ever. I remember doing this back in 1995, even data consolidates. All right, and we're going to use the sum function. I've never used any of the others, but I guess they're there. The sum function, the first thing we're going to do is go back to Q1 and point to this range, those four columns. Click Add, and then go to Q2, select these columns. Click Add, and then Q4. Select these columns. All right, check this box for use labels in the top row and the left column. That browse button means that these data sets can be in different workbooks. Create links to source data. We're going to talk about that one at the end. When I click OK, they're going to get every name that is in any of the three lists, the months that are in any of the three lists. And we now have this amazing superset. All right, annoyances. This is a great feature, but here's the things that just hack me off. They don't give me the label in A1. They don't bother to sort the data uh, going down. And if someone didn't have a record in the first one, they give me blanks instead of zeros. All right, to fill the blanks with zeros, home, find and select, go to special, choose the blanks, click OK, type a zero, control enter will fill those in. Easy enough to sort the data, data A to Z, and it will sort the data, all right? Create links, oh geez, it never works, right? All right, create links. For create links to work, it has to be in an external workbook. All right, so I'm going to click browse here. I created a workbook called Other Workbook. And the data is in A1 colon D7. I'll click Add, all right, and there's the first one. The next data is in G1 to L8. So I'll browse other workbook, G1 to L8, click Add. All right, so now I have two references to other workbooks, top row, left column. Create links to source data. The help Excel help says that once you use create links to source data, you'll never be able to edit those ranges again. Click OK. And here's what we get. All right, first thing, uh, it looks like it gave us the results. It did give us the results. Uh, but there's an extra column B here, and we have group and outline. And when we go to the number two view, uh, so ideally what you would have is you'd have one work workbook called January and another workbook called February and it's going to show you uh, here's January, here's February, here's the total for Mike Seeley. These are formulas pointing into those cells uh, and then here's a sum of those two, all right? It's weird. If you actually use this all the time, I want to hear from you in the YouTube comments. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it for me. Never done it in my life. Well, once before today and then today just so that way I could explain it. All right. Consolidate though, when we're consolidating sheets from the current workbook, awesome, awesome trick. Tomorrow we're going to compare this to the multiple consolidation range pivot tables, uh, but all of these tricks are in the book. Click the eye in the top right hand corner to get to that book. Consolidate, ancient, ancient feature in Excel. You specify multiple ranges to consolidate. I always check the box for top row and left column. The results are great, but A1 is blank, column A is not sorted, and there's blanks in the data. Use go to special blanks, type a zero, control enter to fill those blanks. And then that final example there, consolidate can point to external workbooks. Might be useful. 
All right, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.